Baco Shalom is just who I am. Uh, fine artist, entrepreneur, <laughs> uh, hardworking guy, loving. Tyler um, Bottega is the sanctuary, is church, is the temple. And Tyler Bottega is my art gallery. I've been thinking about, dreaming about, and working on this idea, this concept for a long time. I'm still trying to perfect it. Other artists get to come in and use it for studio space. We host all sorts of different events, um, everything art related. The fact that we have a living legend amongst us, you know, like you want to give them the flowers where they can still smell about things. Like, you know, this, this is dedicated to Misty Copeland. You know, it's like, I think that you're a legend in all that you do. And now I've discovered ballet fully, and I think that it's an amazing thing. I'm having ballet here at my facility. Definitely a defining moment in my career as an artist. And not, not just because, you know, of who I'm painting, it's because I actually made a breakthrough as an artist from where I was. Like, I moved into another creative space. I got better. And it's, it's evident from the work that you would look at that I did last year, earlier this year, or even through the continuation of the series from piece number one to piece number 13, you can see the jump that occurred. I wasn't just on the same level the entire time through. Like you could see me pick up new things each time. It's a God level of just grace and, and power. It's just it's amazing to just see. Whether it's a still shot or it's actual film, like it's a video, like see that? Can you see that? All this is happening because of a paintbrush really hard work and hustle and right connections and good people around me. So that goes back to that appreciation thing. It's just the beginning. I feel like it's the thing that, you know, has got me to break through my creative mold or to strengthen my creative muscle and to help me as a person, a human being, to help me to be more of a person who's not satisfied or feels like I can do better. God took all the grace in the world and he just put it in her.